It's your favourite Marv from Home Alone lookalike back at it again with another vlog. Today Mother will take on Celtic. We don't need to go into detail about how long it's been since we last beat them. I'm fed up talking about it. I almost can't be us going tonight. But, you know, I'm just going in the hope that we can get a wee surprise. A nice surprise, not a 7-0 drubbing. Ange Postacoglu has just packed up another Manager of the Month awards. He has been defying the odds by not having the kiss of death because usually with managers that is a kiss of death and they usually falter in the next game, which is us tonight. Here's hoping, won the well. And here we are, at my Mecca. For the last time before the World Cup, we are here. 10 minutes till kick off, Celtic won the last 14 matches against us in all competitions. Prediction today, I think we'll get beat 3-1, but if we catch them on a bad night, who knows what might happen. But anyway, we're going the match on the well. After the first half, Celtic completely dominated, you know, we never really laid a glove on them. After Kevin Van Veen's opportunity after two minutes, in which he hit the post after rounding Joe Hart, we, did, we didn't really do anything to frighten Celtic and the, the goal that Celtic scored just summed up how we've been playing recently. Cal Slattery managed to get in the way of Matt O'Reilly, but Instead of putting it into Rose Ed, he literally tried to shield out for a goal kick and Matt O'Reilly takes the ball back off him and then squares it to Kyogo and the rest is history. Like Celtic really could have had a pick of three or four goals in that first half and they decided not to. They sort of sat off us and, uh, I mean, we sat off them more and we allowed Celtic a lot of the ball. Hopefully that is going to change in the second half. Second half, about to kick off, on the way. And Connor Shields has been substituted on to replace Ken Van Veen.
basically just chuck the ball right at them and then they go and hit us on the counter. We don't deserve anything for tonight. Although we've been pushing. But you don't get a trophy from a pushing Celtic. So to summarise the second half performance, I thought we were a lot better. I think Stevie Hamill shoved a rocket up their arses because we certainly stepped up and we didn't give Celtic as much respect as we did in the first half. I thought Matt Penny was excellent going forward from left back. Uh, we managed to frustrate Celtic a wee bit, but we still never really laid a glove on them. We didn't really force Joe Hart into many saves. Uh, Louis Moult had the chance at 1-0 and I think the ball bounced over the bar and uh, there was a goal in which was just offside from Jota. Uh, I, I think I think the, the way they determined it was that it was just his hair that was <laughs> offside because I didn't see much in it. The, the second goal that actually did count, um, it was frustrating because the, there's a lot of people saying that uh, we should have had a retake of the throw-in but I think the Celtic player was standing on the line, on the touchline, and if you're on the line, that counts as inside the pitch. Uh, so there is a lot of frustration there because it did go to VAR, and, you know, it's just... I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm losing the will to live talking about VAR decisions and we're only into, what, our fourth week of it. And, yeah, Maeda scored, and then we got a goal far too far too late to actually retrieve anything from the game. Tierney scored a fantastic finish, but apart from that, we didn't really do too much in the way of testing Joe Hart and that's why we lost. Because we never laid a glove on them in the first half. And then in the second we did too much too late. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video for St Johnston versus Motherwell on Saturday or Sunday, whenever it's up. But yeah, see you later.